Thanks so much. Remember the best political team in TV. We're going to get to more reaction now to Speaker Pelosi's trip. P.J. Crowley is senior fellow and director of national defense and homeland security at the Center for American Progress. He served as a special assistant on national security in the Clinton White House. Also with me tonight, Jed Babb, an editor of Human Events and HumanEvents.com. He was deputy undersecretary of defense for President George H.W. Bush. Good to have both of you with us tonight. Well, Paula, thanks. All right, Jed, we just heard Nancy Pelosi defend her trip, saying she was following the guidelines of the study group, uh, among other things. What is so damaging about her making this trip when you had a bunch of Republicans doing the same thing just a couple of days before she got there? Well, I don't think the Republicans are trying to do the same thing. You heard Pelosi's words. She's trying to negotiate better understandings with the Syrians. This is following the What's script that, that was laid out. Well, number one, she doesn't have the portfolio. She's Speaker of the House. She does not speak for the foreign policy of the United States. She has no authority to do that, and she is, in effect, hijacking foreign policy out from under the Bush administration. She's going directly to one of the central enemies in this war, and she's saying to them, effectively, we want better understandings with you, i.e., wait out uh, President Bush, and we'll cut and run. We'll surrender to you. Just give it another 18 months. Let me months. try to understand this, Jed. On one hand, you say she's hijacking foreign policy, yeah. but she doesn't have anything in her, in her portfolio that allows her Listen. to assert any foreign Paul, policy or Paul, change foreign policy. Listen to what the Syrians are saying. Their deputy foreign minister said in reaction to Pelosi's trip that the help of, from all these things is cornering the administration. The Democrats are cornering the administration, and that's a good thing. That's what the Syrians want. They're getting a separate peace deal from Pelosi. Whether or not she has the authority, she's saying, let's wait out President Bush, let's wait out this thing, and we will surrender to you as soon as we got the White House. PJ, you've got to admit uh, that you'd be pretty happy if you were the Syrians tonight. Pretty good photo op for the Syrians, isn't it? Well, wait a second. I think the, the, the first issue is not why Nancy Pelosi is in Damascus. The real issue is why Condi Rice has not been there. You know, we have had no high-level representation uh, in Damascus, no meaningful conversations with the Syrians since 2003, as Jed has said, and we have nothing to show for it. And, and, and as the Iraq study group did say, if we're going to solve the problem in Iraq, if we're going to solve the greater challenge in the Middle East, we have to engage all of these countries, including the Syrians, including the Iranians. You know, the North Korean experience shows us that when you have direct dialogue and meaningful discussions, even with countries that you have major problems with and do not like and do not admire, but yet you can have uh, potentially fruitful results. We say potentially fruitful. What are the chances, PJ, of her accomplishing anything? Jed says this is nothing more than a photo opportunity. It, that's all it is. It, look, she's not but going let, to let, do let, anything. Let's, let's PJ well, I, mean, I, I, you know, I, I remember President Bush gave a very eloquent inaugural address in 2005 where he talked about the, pro, the, the promotion of democracy. What better message to an autocratic leader like uh, Bashir Assad than having the uh, newly elected Speaker of the House, who happens to be a woman, uh, coming to Damascus and demonstrating that we have a vibrant uh, and, and multifaceted political system what? here in the United States. Bashir, by comparison, is the son of a dictator. He himself is an autocrat. He, he, you know, he has a, a rubber stamp Congress uh, or parliament that oh. serves his interests. I mean, this is exactly the, what we're supposed PJ, to be doing. And PJ, the issue is not is what Nancy's not, doing, it's what the Bush administration is failing this to is, do. This is what, what Howard Dean, the chairman of the Democratic Party, said a month ago in an interview. We are going to make approaches to all these different countries and tell them that there's a change coming, that no, the Democrats are going mean, to take over, and we will have better relationships with Wolf. you. Right. There are Democrats no, wait a minute. Jed, that's Jed, not Jed, let me just answer. I just need a really brief answer, Jed. Jed, are, are, do you wish the Bush administration was doing more with Syria? Do you wish Connie Rice was over there right now? No, absolutely not. Would it make not. any difference you, at it all? It would not make any difference. You try that, you can go back to Daddy Assad, and you had Warren Christopher sitting there in the anteroom. We've been trying to talk to these people for 20 years. It's never worked once. Got to leave it there. Jed Babbin, PJ Crowley. Thank you both. Thank you. And I want.